Okay. <laughs> I started restricting my food in early of 2021. It started with comparison. I started comparing my personality, my body, and my talents to the people around me. When I started to lose weight, it felt good because I thought I had control over what was going on. I thought I could control the way others saw me through my weight. During this season, I continued to go to church because I thought I was supposed to. I had gone my whole life and people expected me to be there, so I went. But it became something I had to do, and I became really fake. I started going just to respond to messages and talk in connect groups like I thought I was supposed to, but then I would go home and forget all about it. As my restrictions got worse, I started to become angry with God. It felt like the faith that worked for so many people around me was completely failing me. I cried out to Him over and over, but He never answered. I felt so alone and scared, and I thought that if other people knew what I was doing to myself, they would judge me, or even worse, they would try to fix me. So I convinced myself that I was strong enough to handle it on my own, that I didn't need God and I knew what was best, but I didn't realize how dangerous it was to hold on to an eating disorder. I only went to summer camp because I thought I had to, but I was so angry towards God and myself, and the feeling of Eating every meal around other people terrified me. I almost didn't go, but I'm so glad that I did. And the first night we got there, I was sitting in worship at the front, faking it like normal. I was doing everything I thought I was supposed to do, but I was so bitter. And then I felt God reach back out to me. Suddenly I could feel how much He loved me, and I knew that I wasn't alone. It felt like the rope that had been strangling me was completely cut off. I knew inwardly that I was healed. Because I had been restricting my food for so long, my body didn't know how to handle food when I ate normally, so I became nauseous at even the thought of eating. But that night during worship, I went back to my seat, found a granola bar, and ate it. <laughs> and I could feel that even the presence of God removed any fear of eating, and all the physical symptoms of my eating disorder were completely healed. It's been a long journey to recovery for me, and there are still days where I struggle with the thoughts that my disordered eating left behind. But on those days, I can look back to the moment when God found me, alone, scared, and bitter, and He loved me. The moments where I thought He didn't care, He knew better, and He was watching out for me, sending people who loved me when I couldn't see Him. And now I get to be that person for other people. I get to see people who are struggling with disordered eating and share my story and let them know how loved they are. I know that God is still working in me and healing me, and I know that He is so much better.